Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is part 9 on how to build Stampy's lovelier world in Minecraft. So, if we get started, these are all the blocks that you should need during this video. And we'll be doing the shulker box room, aka lower storage. So, let's get into it. First thing you want to do, this is where the door is right there. And from these sea lanterns, you'd want to place one, two, three uh, chiseled quartz block on both sides. Then go diagonal to both of them and place two just like that. And then on this side here, one, two, three again from the sea lanterns. Then this time only diagonal by one. And then we do this on all sides, so one, two, three, one, two, three. This time it's opposite to the front, so diagonal by two. And the one opposite this one will be just diagonal by one. So it should look a bit like that. Now, we from between these, we'll have to place a bunch of rows. So first of all, you can just place orange concrete going to the end, so it should be six. And on the other rows, you'll just have to place five. So here, you'll place... Oh, no, will be four. So pink concrete like this. And then one, two, three, four of blue concrete. And then if we got our get our lime concrete, that'd be one, two, three, four as well. And just like that. Now if we went to the entrance here, I guess we'll work on so we'll get our pillow quartz, right? We'll place one here, one then we'll extend it up by two. See then and on there as the corners and then connect it with pillar quartz. Now you do something similar on all of these corners, just place one like that. Basically just do this kind of pattern on all the corners. This one is going to be a bit dip, yeah, so this one will go out when we extend it up by two. See lantern on top, then connect it using pillar quartz. And if you really want to, just for some support blocks, I recommend placing some like some concrete just like this. So, I mean, these blocks won't really be visible. But they will. They will help us in the long run. Trust me. So it should look a bit like that. Now, next up, we can do is basically around these pillar quartz whatever you want to call them just put a row around it like this of the colored concrete so obviously this side will be orange this side will be pink this side we didn't even finish but it'll be blue and this final side lime Just like that. And if you want to go ahead and get this now. We will need shulker boxes of the main colours. So obviously you will have. The green ones filling up. Going here. And also in these two spots. Blue ones filling up this with to either side of here and then we need pink there it is but we don't need orange yeah yeah we do need orange i'm stupid and then we just fill this up using pink shulker boxes and then we get out our orange and then put two orange there two orange there Now 
Now that's probably all we're going to need of those shulker boxes. So we can go ahead and get rid of them. And now maybe get in some of the concrete powder as well. So we'll start with the orange. These corners here we can add two orange concrete on top. Actually, no, no, just one. Then place orange concrete powder in the middle and place an orange concrete powder there. There'll be one there, so just place place a yellow concrete there just to support it. And on this side, we'll need a red concrete to support. So, two. And then here we can just place orange concrete in the middle. So it should look something just like that. Now it's basically the same on all the sides. So what we can do is extend up the corners on all the sides. And put whatever colour thingy it is in the middle. Then pink. Now here's where it might get a tiny bit different. Because for the lime. There will actually be a row of pillar quartz on either side. Just like that. And then there will be like lime concrete. It's just like so a bit different from that. And then that'll also be the same on the opposite side with the pink. So bring up some pillar quartz. And then some concrete powder. And then with the blue side, just do what we originally did. So purple concrete on that side. And then on the other side, it will be cyan. And then two concrete powder just like that and obviously fill in the middle here with blue concrete middle here with lime concrete and middle here pink concrete so it should look just like this now let's start on the corners so let's just go ahead and start with the red corner all right so if we get started with this in this corner right here we place a red concrete then a red concrete there and two red concretes here. So there'll be a red shulker box there, 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 and there. So it should look a bit like that. And basically, just put connect this all up with fill it in. Just look like it looks like this. Okay, you can kind of tell the shape. Like it'll be three there, three left there, just like that. And then you can fill up this red concrete to that, and this red concrete. So here, I didn't know this originally. I kind of forgot about this actually. There's going to be two smooth stone. I know, it's a bit weird. And where it says here, place two pillar quartz on both sides. And then like we place one going in. Because basically, and then there'll be red shulker boxes like that. And then above all this, you can just put in red concrete here. You can put two red concrete powder, followed by some red concrete going around that. Another two red concrete powder there. So it, that's what the red corner should basically look like. So, in this corner here, <laughs> diagonal from Sea Lantern. <coughs> you place yellow concrete there, two there, one there, then obviously shulker box there, diagonal to that shulker box, and then where these two chisel things are, opposite, go up from that, two shulker boxes, and yet again, two here, two there, fill it in, this can go up, this can go most of the way up, 
Except this time there'll actually be a pillar quartz there. Except not smooth stone. Then we just one, two, three. One, two, three. This time the corners are like more already filled in for us. So obviously put some yellow yellow shulker boxes in there. And then just do this again. Yellow concrete like that. Two yellow concrete powder there. Yellow concrete next to that and above it. And two yellow concrete yellow yellow concrete powder there so that's what the yellow corner should look like the next corner we will do will be the purple corner so yet again replace out all the items with the purple items and this gets dyed so purple in the corner two there one there then shulker box shulker box over here shulker box shulker box Coming off these jogger boxes, places two, two, fill it all in. Then this side obviously will connect up. This side will go most of the way, but it won't go there. And now this time we'll just play the pillow quartz there. And I'll do this now, but there'll be a smooth stone on top of that. And that will be the, all the smooth stone blocks we'll need. So we can go ahead and get rid of that now. And then come to the corner here, three pillar quartz, make a little area full of purple shulker boxes to go in. And then on top of the purple shulker boxes, put the pillar quartz blocks facing inwards with some purple concrete surrounding that. Two purple powder there, just like that. And then to there and that is the purple corner done and then the last corner we have to do will be the cyan corner so if we get all the blocks of cyan and then similar to all the other corners we place three here so this direction kind of one there shulker box shulker box shulker box shulker box and yet again connect it all up fill it all in this one here can go the whole way up this one only goes most of the way up before getting replaced with a pillar quartz and of course one two three one two three this is where the cyan shulker boxes will go with the pillar quartz then facing inwards just like that and then of course sign powder there and also diagonal up from that so it should look a bit like that and then that's all of the corners done so next start on all of these all of the corners right where we'd have two concretes we'll have to place sea lanterns on top of them so sea lantern there, sea lantern there, and sea lantern there. And then around the rest of this, there'll just be pillow quartz blocks going on top of everything. So obviously there'll be smooth stone there, and here. So now so far you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now what we have to do next I believe would be the roof. Now the roof is a bit more complicated. Let's start off easy and let's fill in all of this. So everything here. With your normal quartz slabs, even these parts are all around here. So just leaving the gap in the middle, so go ahead and do that now. So once you have that done, it should look a bit like this. Now we're going to need all the concrete again. So we're going to have to go ahead and get those. We'll get a couple of them for now. 
And we're all so... I start from the blue. So from where these concretes are, you break out... Four... And then place blue concrete. So basically like... That... And then, and then on the other side, you do the same with the orange. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on these sides, you only do it by three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, and three. And then the pink can also go diagonal on these sides, and also the lime can go diagonal. So it should look a bit like that. And then on the top, the second to top, you can place sea lanterns here. The middle of the three pink sea lanterns, second to top of the blue, and the middle of green, you place sea lanterns on all of those. And now it's a bit of a weird, like, M kind of shape going on in all the corners. So, we'll start with the red corner. So, from this orange concrete powder here, you break out one, two, three. Replace it with red concrete. Then one there, up, right, and then feel like. So, basically, you're making, like, an M kind of shape. And it's similar on all of the sides. So, this time, the three will go off the blue concrete powder. And then you just finish off your M shape that. That's right, I thought that looked a bit wrong, but it is right. It's your three here, one there, one there, one there, like an M kind of shape. And then you'll do it one last time here. If you are the yellow, so coming from off from the orange, one, two, three. Then one to the left, up one, left one. And that's your M shape done. And I'm pretty sure that would be the whole lower story. So yeah, that is this all done. So obviously in the next part, we'll work on like, the brewing room and then we'll work on everything else. Then we'll put a room down there. But we're not doing that right now. Obviously, there is still a lot more we need to do on this outdoor area. Don't know if we're going to be able to do much now. But... You can place 12 more after this. So one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you can place another row and another row after that. So this way we can place another ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten three. Okay, and then we can add two rows on top of that as well. And you can place another one there. We can add on four, so one, two, three, four, just like this. And then you can go diagonal one, diagonal two. So then you go diagonal from this by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can add on. So all of this here can be filled in this though. We don't fill it in because there'll be stairs going up. So that's not the exact shape. Because obviously from these three, there'll be a bridge for these four five-ish blocks there so. so from here you miss one two three four five six seven then you place one here place another one there diagonal by three diagonal by two and place another one and another one then this little area here can be filled in and then obviously there will be the bridge, the fences going around that, but we're not going to do all that in this video because we are running out of time. So in the next video we'll continue, we'll do the 
We'll do the bring room, which is next. And then we'll do this little bit down here. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And we will see you all next time. Also, if you want, you can clear all this up a little bit because, like, makes it look nicer. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.